we start the last Group A roundup of the year with an enigma. For us, but for the Zagreb players as well, how to score a penalty against Mirko Alilovic. The Croatian goalkeeper saved the first three penalty shots of the game and showcased a masterclass in goalkeeping throughout the first half. Zeged struggled slightly at the start of the game, but it didn't take long for Pastora's machine to start its engine. Thanks to this hammer from Bombac, Zeged took a seven-goal lead into the break. The Hungarians never let up and, led by Super Mario on the wing, dismantled the Croatians. The honorable mention goes to Ante Gadja from Zagreb, who was the game's top scorer with seven goals, but it was a comfortable 33-23 win for Zeged come the end of play. We continue the roundup with a battle of youth between Norwegian youngsters Elverum and the Slovenian prospects from Selje. In the battle of youth and speed, the home side dominated the first half. A combination of wonderful finishes from the wing, in-flight goals, and spectacular saves secured an eight-goal lead for Elverum at the break. The Norwegians never looked back after the break and continued to produce impressive handball. The most impressive player was the 26-year-old Torsten Fries in goal. Pay attention to the next few seconds because these saves will blow your mind. In the end, it was a demonstration of power from Elverum and a well-deserved 37-26 win. The reigning German champions welcome Alborg to town, an almost neighborly duel since less than 300 kilometers separate the two cities. The first matchup between these two, Alborg decided in their favor, and things are looking quite similar at the start. Janus Madison is making a name for himself in Germany. Speaking about making an impact, Sebastian Barthold scores four in a row and single-handedly leads Alborg to a three-goal lead at the break. It's the same story after the break. The Danes held Flensburg at a safe distance throughout, and a big team performance secured big points. Final score, 29-32. And finally, it's a historic win for Barca in the match of the week and a first home loss for PSG since 2014.